Prussicking is when you use prussics to ascend a rope. You might do this if you rappel too far or went the wrong way, if your ropes got stuck after rappelling, or if you fall when climbing a steep pitch. There are many reasons why you might need to prussic your way out of a problem, but whatever the reason, here are some fundamentals of prussicking. Only prussic up a rope which is properly attached to an anchor. Sounds obvious, but are you sure the rope is properly attached? Or is it just stuck? If you're not sure, then use the rope as a lead rope when you ascend, which is described in this video. You might choose to do this anyway because it's possible that when prussicking, the rope is stretching, bouncing and rubbing over some edge up high somewhere and wearing away the sheath. If you descended two ropes, you will need to ascend two ropes. It is super dangerous to only ascend one rope on a double rope rappel, hoping that the knot will jam into the anchor. Always back up your prussics. Prussics are not full strength attachments. Neither is a micro traction, a tib lock, or any other similar rope grab device. Tie a backup in any rope which you are ascending. A common method is to tie a clovitch to your belay loop and adjust it as you ascend. The problem with this is that if you fall while you are in the middle of adjusting it, you could get your finger stuck in the knot and probably sever it. So depending on the situation, consider tying a second knot and then removing the first one. An overhand or a figure eight on a bite also works well. It is easier to prussic up low angled rock than overhanging rock. Often on slabs, you don't actually need to use a prussic. You can just semi-free climb and shuffle rope through your grigory. Use a backup knot if doing this. You will need to adjust the length of your attachment depending on the angle of the rock. The distance from your belay loop to your top prussic should be shorter on steep rock and longer on slabs. It takes a bit of practice to figure out these optimal lengths. If you must remove gear when prussicking, try to unclip or remove it before getting your prussic jammed up into it. Removing gear when ascending a rope is described in great detail in the VDIF Big Wall and Ed Climbing course. To prussic over a lip, the best way is to free climb and then shuffle your prussics up. But if you can't do that, the quick way is to sort of jump and push the top prussic over the lip. Being careful not to get your fingers pinched between the rope and the rock. A slower but sometimes better way is to clip into the lower prussic, if you're not already attached to it, then reposition the top prussic above the lip. It should then be easy to continue up. When prussicking, you might find that the carabiner gets cross-loaded. If you were to use a snap gate, it would probably just unclip itself.
To stop this from happening, you can girth hitch the Prusik onto the carabiner. Prosicking is an essential skill for any trad climber. It's awkward and clumsy at first, takes a while to figure out all the little things. Building up this skill, like everything else, just takes practice. To prosic up a rope in the normal way, you will need two prosics, one shoulder length sling, one double length sling, three screw gates. Attach yourself to the rope. You may already be tied into the rope, but if not, then a common method is to tie an overhand or a figure eight on a bite and clip it to your belay loop. Use screwgate carabiners for all attachments. If you are ascending both ropes, you'll need to tie into both ropes. Attach the prussics to the rope. The Clem Heist prussic generally works best. The French prussic tends to slip precisely when you don't want it to, and the classic tends to grip too tight and it can be annoying to keep releasing it. Girth hitch a shoulder length sling to your belay loop. And clip it to the top prussic. The precise length of this attachment depends on the angle of the rock and how long your arms are. You need to be able to reach the top of the prusik easily, so tie a knot in the sling to shorten it if needed. Clip a double length sling to the lower prusik. This will be your foot loop. You could save a carabiner here by girth hitching it on instead. You could connect yourself to this lower prusik with a sling. You would need a long sling for this, Using a short sling will limit your movement and cause problems. This gives you another attachment point, but it's a low strength attachment, and it typically just gets in the way, so most of the time you probably wouldn't bother. To stop your foot from falling out of the sling, you could girth hitch your foot to the sling. This works great in approach shoes, but in rock shoes it cinches tight and gets pretty painful. So I consider tying an overhand knot instead. Now the hard work begins. Stand up in the foot loop and slide the top prusik up the rope. This should be one fluid movement, which is timed so that the prusik reaches its high point at exactly the same time that you have stood up to your high point. You can then immediately let go of the prusik and rest your weight entirely on it. From this resting position, push the lower prusik up the rope and get your hands in position for the next movement. One hand will be on the top prusik ready to slide it, and the other hand will be lower down somewhere and used for balance. You don't need to pull up with your arms, all the upward movement comes from your legs. Use your arms just to pull yourself into the rope for balance. You may find that doing a one leg squat is hard work, so you could stand one foot on top of the other,
or girth hitch both feet in the same loop. Although it's usually easier to keep balance if your feet are separate. Adjust your tying knot as you ascend. It's crucial to tie a new knot before untying the old one. Remember, this is your primary tie-in. The prusik above is a low strength attachment only. If you need to prusik past a knot, unfasten one prusik at a time and move it past the knot. It's worth clipping directly into the lower prusik while you move the top prusik so you're less likely to lose balance. 